The purpose of this video is to demonstrate a very basic workflow for creating horizontal and vertical geometry and defining a corridor and template drop using the Open Roads Designer Connect Edition. To start, um, I'll first create my horizontal geometry and notice that I'm in my 2D design file. First, I'll want to attach a terrain model by clicking on the Home ribbon, going to Attach Tools, then Tools, Attach, and then I'll select my existing terrain and I'll make sure my attachment method is set to Coincident World, and then I'll click Open. And then you may need to fit the view to get the terrain to view on your screen. I'll select my element selection and select the terrain so that I can look at the properties of it. And you can notice down here if we um, change override symbology to yes for the references. Within Open Roads Designer you can select different override templates um, to change the view of the terrain. So I could change it to existing contours to see the contours in the view. So now to create the horizontal geometry, I'll go to the Geometry tab, go to Complex Geometry, and I'll do a Complex by PI. I'll select Alignment and then Geom Baseline. From the heads-up display, you can see that it asks me to enter the first PI, so I'll select that. I'll enter a radius of 300. I'll press Enter to lock that in and create my horizontal alignment. To exit out of the command, I'll do a right click. I'll get my element selection and click on it and see in the properties we have the feature definition and our horizontal alignment. So next we want to create the vertical alignment. To do this, we want to make sure that our terrain is set to active. So if you select your terrain, and then hover over it. Context toolbar, select Set as Active Terrain Model. Now we can create our vertical profile by selecting the horizontal geometry and hovering over it and selecting Open Profile Model. Then I'll select View 2, Data Point within View 2 to open up the profile. And you can notice that you can see the terrain model because I set it as active. So I'll go under my vertical tools within the geometry ribbon, lines profile line between points. I want to set a feature definition, so I'll go to alignment, geom baseline, you enter a start point, and then a stop point. And then to be able to use this as your alignment for the corridor, you'll want to set this um, as active. So select the vertical geometry, hover over it, and select Set as Active Profile. Now to create a corridor, we'll go and click on the Corridors ribbon and select New Corridor. The Heads Up Displays asks you to locate the corridor baseline. I'll select the horizontal geometry. Then it asks for you to locate the profile, so we're going to use the active profile, so we'll do a right-click reset. We'll keep the feature name as Geom Baseline, and it creates the corridor. Next, we want to add a template drop, so we'll click New Template Drop. It asks to locate the corridor, so we'll select the corridor. And then to select the template, you can click the Alt key and then the down arrow to pull up the Pick Template box. And you can open the templates and select the template you want. I'll go to Rural, Asphalt Payment with Asphalt Shoulders Undivided, and we'll do a two-lane undivided rule. Click OK. I'll data point to select this. I'll have it start at the beginning. To lock it to the start, I'll select the Alt key to lock it, then data point, and I'll just data point out here to end it. Um, I'll set my drop interval to 25 feet, and then data point. I'll keep this at zero, as well as the stop transition.
and now we have the template drop. And you'll notice now that the, the template drop is this purple line right here, and then the corridor has these blue handlers that come up right here. So I'll select the corridor, I'll hover over it, and select corridor objects, and then this is where you can add different things to your corridor, such as key stations, parametric constraints, or in-condition exceptions.